I bet you thought that this was a guaranteed win for you, didn't you, Duelist? I mean, I have you in a pretty bad spot. You thought I you mean, had me in a pickle. I don't know what you're going to do now. What if I activated a little card called... Wait, what? Today, we have Pharaoh's Servant, the fourth ever Yu-Gi-Oh set that had iconic cards like Imperial Order, Jinzo, and Call of the Haunted. Paul and I are gonna break open half of this box each, have a duel, and see who comes out ahead. We're actually doing a lot of these different old school duels, so check them all out. And if you like this kind of content, give us a like, and let's get to the opening. Okay, so we've got some Pharaoh's Servant to open today, and I have been honored with opening first. So last time I picked the left side, got some good stuff. I'm gonna just change it up and take the right. Also got one extra pack. We'll start with it. Gravity Bind, really annoying. One of the early floodgates of the game. Ooh, ultra rare Buster Blader. Yugi's one of his ace monsters that showed up in Battle City. How useful would it be in a duel like this? Uh, who's to say? And oh, nice super rare trap card, Mirror Wall. Uh, you have the attack of all your opponents attacking monsters. But during your standby phase, you gotta pay 2,000 life points or destroy this card. This is actually a really good, like, staple card back in the day. Time seal. You skip your opponent's next draw phase. Actually, a pretty cool card. They wouldn't draw a card. Super rare backup soldier. Since we'll be using a lot of vanilla cards, this might actually come in handy because, oh, you gotta have like five or more cards, monsters in your grave. Target three non effect monsters with 1500 or less attack and add them to your hand. It's all right. Final pack of Pharaoh's Servant. Please another hollow for a change. Give me four. Darkfire Soldier, Gradius. Shout out to Gradius. Gust, Inspection. Light Force Sword as a rare, not bad. Deep Sea Warrior, Island Turtle, Sky Scout, and the Regulation of Tribe. All in all, not too bad, not too shabby. Got Buster Blader, is pretty iconic. Mirror Wall is pretty useful. Backup Soldier, we'll see. But that's pretty much it for my uh, Pharaoh's Servant packs. So wish me luck in the upcoming duel. Pharaoh's Servant. Will the polls be fire? Let's find out. Ooh, Nobleman of Crossout. Good for hitting those face down cards. All right, so far only one hollow, but no pan. We're not gonna panic. We're not gonna panic. Ooh, Secret Rare Imperial Order. Woo, this card's this card's crazy. I remember as like as a kid, I would uh, I thought Imperial Order was like a horrible card, but as an adult, I'm like, this card's toxic. Look at that, ultra rare premature burial. So the hollows weren't looking great at the start, guys, but boy, are we getting some strong cards in this one. Premature burial, this, I can bring a monster back from the graveyard with this, that's great. Fairy Meteor Crush. All right, last pack, here we go. Seven completed, DNA Surgery, Attack and Receive, Dark Bat, Mad Sword Beast, Island Turtle, Bombardment Beetle, Skull Mariner, and Mr. Volcano. Those are my pulls for Spell Ruler. Uh, seeing a Super Ultra and a Secret, I, I can't be mad at that. This is, a, this is a good set of cards. Let's get to the duel. 
All right, duelist, are you ready to find out who's the real Pharaoh's servant? Not me, I don't serve anybody, I'll be the apostle. Which I think is actually what the set was like, maybe called in the ocean. In fact, I'll just be the Pharaoh. Oh, okay, yeah, so one person's the Pharaoh, one person's the Pharaoh's servant. Exactly. Okay, you'll be the Pharaoh's servant then. Nah, nah, I can't serve anybody. Reminder guys, we're playing 30 card decks, by the way. This so. is more than 30. I roll, let's see who goes first. Let's go. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. I'll go first. All right, you get to draw on your first turn. We're playing with the old school rules. Hey, that's why I play with old cards. We can play by old rules. Draw a card. Normal summon overdrive. Now we're gonna set two cards face down and end my turn. How about I draw a card? Normal summon, Darkfire Soldier number two. Attack overdrive with Darkfire Soldier number two. I'll activate my enchanted javelin. Well, okay then, duelist. That still means overdrive is gonna be destroyed and, and you'll still take 100. 100. I set one card face down and end my turn. Then I will draw. We did find out last time that life points are of the utmost importance. They're very important. Set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. I'll draw. Darkfire Soldier number two is gonna attack your life points directly. I'll activate Enchanted Javelin. So just nullify the damage. I'll, I'll gain 17, then I'll take 17. All right, I'm gonna set a card face down. One more card face down. Your move, Duelist. During your end phase, I'll activate Skull Imitation. Draw for turns. I'll activate my Nobleman of Extermination. Ooh. So I'll target a face down spell or trap card you control and banish it. I chain. Light Force Sword. Pew, straight down the middle. Oh. Banished face down. You won't be getting it back for four turns. Ooh. Wait, is it banished or? No, well, this card. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, this is good. yeah, oh, yeah you're they, right. You could chain it though, so it's going to grave. Yeah, it's going to, okay. I think that works like that. So you're banging, you're taking 300. I take 300. I'm going to activate my premature burial by paying 800 to target and special summon my overdrive. Oh, I no. will tribute my overdrive to summon Invitation to a dark sleep. When it's summoned, I can select one of your monsters. As long as this is face up on the field, it, your monster cannot attack. Attack. So your dark fire soldier is now inept. Okay. Well, your premature burial and overdrive went to the grave. So I guess that means you'll take some 600. damage. Six hundred. Yeah. I'll end my turn. I'll draw. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. Draw. Let's switch invitation to defense position because she has more defense and attack. And then we'll normal summon flying Kamakiri number two. Flying Kamakiri will attack this face down. My bubonic vermin. Ooh. I summon another bubonic vermin from my deck and face down defense position. Bubonic vermin summon face down. I also take 300 because my monster yes. was sent to the graveyard. I'll end my turn now. I'll draw. Tribute my bubonic vermin for the twin headed fire dragon, 2200 attack points. Twin Headed Fire Dragon's gonna attack. You're gonna. Oh, yeah, I take 300. Forgot my monster went to the grave. Twin Headed Fire Dragon's gonna attack Invitation to a Dark Sleep. And Dark Fire Soldier will attack Flying Kamakiri for 200 damage. And then I'll take three for Skull Invitation. Your move. Draw. I'll set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. I'll draw a duelist. Dark Fire Soldier number two, attack for 1700. Then also, my, my Twin Headed Fire Dragon will attack you directly for 22. Gotta take it. I'll set one card face down, and end my turn. Draw. I'll set a card face down, end my turn. I draw a duelist. Well then, you weren't able to find a comeback, so it's time to attack you directly with Dark Fire Soldier number two. I'll activate Earthshaker. What the heck? I select two monster card attributes, and then you will select one of those two attributes to destroy all face-up monsters with that attribute on the field. I choose Fire and Divine. Well, Divine, obviously. Yeah. Understandable. I, I mean, understandable. Oh, I gotta take 300 for a second. Go on a grave. Dark Fire Soldier is also still attacking. And now I finish you with Twin Headed Fire Dragon. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, okay. You, you, yeah. had, you had a better uh, one tribute summon. I'll go first. And draw for turn. Let's normal summon Girochin Kuwagata. I'll set two cards face down. Now in my turn. Let's draw. I normal summon the Sky Scout in attack position. I'll attack Girochin Kuwagata. I'll also set two cards and end my turn. Draw. I'll set one card face down. Now pass turn. Draw one. The Sky Scout's gonna attack your life points directly. Your move, duelist. Draw for turn. I'll set a card face down. Now end my turn. Let's normal summon a Girochin Kuwagata. 17 is gonna attack your face down monster. I'll activate Enchanted Javelin. Island Turtle with 2,000 defense. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay, It'll well. Take 300. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. Let's set one card face down and set a monster face down. I'll end my turn. I draw. Normal summon the Darkfire Soldier number two. Oh, Sky Scout will attack that face down monster of yours. On decoration, I'll activate Gravity Bind. We're really doing this, Duelist. 
Your move then. Draw for ten. You're really doing this strategy, are yeah, we? Let's flip summon my Dark Fire Soldier number two. Normal summon Flying Kamakiri number two. I'll end my turn. I'll set a card face down. And end my turn. Then I will draw. Set a card face down. I'll end my turn. I don't like that. Look. I draw. I end my turn. Draw. I'll pass. I draw. I end my turn. All right. Draw for turn. No, this is the riveting gameplay, people. Yeah, this is this is this for. is what people wanted, man. This, this is what, what they, they want. The old classic retro Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm, I gotta and I gotta get the people what they want. So like passing your turn. Yep, pass. I draw. Set one monster face down. Set another card. Your move. Draw for turn. I'll pass. I draw. Another dark fire soldier. Your mm. move. Draw for turn. Set a monster face down, now then my turn. Bet you thought you were sneaky. Let's activate Shadow of Eyes. All right. What'd you have in store for me? Dark fire soldier number one. And Nickelmactic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Your turn. I draw. I tribute my two monsters, my two dark fire soldiers, for the Wing Weaver. It's a big monster that can't attack. 2750. Your move, duelist. Draw for turn. I'll set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. I will end my turn. Draw for turn. So, like, when do you do something? Where's, when does this strategy come together? Draw. I'll set a monster face down. I'll set a spell or trap. I'll end my turn. Draw for turn. Got some plays to go along with them. Or we I'll all just tribute talk. my flying Kamakiri for invitation to a dark sleep. Now use this effect so your wing weaver can't attack, even if it could attack under gravity bind. And I'll end my turn. I'm gonna draw. You got a few cards in that hand of yours. I do. I'm gonna set one card face down. End my turn. And I'll draw for turn. This is truly the most riveting gameplay of Yu-Gi-Oh! you've ever seen. Drop a like if you're still this here, though, because you know about. something's about to happen. I'll set a card face down. We have full fields here. I'll activate my Skull Invitation, and I'll end my turn. I draw a duelist. I activate my Light Force Sword. And I'll respond with Earthshaker. Wind and Light. Wind it'll be. All right. Now let's get a card out of that hand. This card will be banished face down. All right, so and then these, these go. both go. We'll each take three hundred. You know, it, it's sick that a set that came that releases gravity bond doesn't have spell and trap removal in it. Your move, but imagine going to a sneak peek. Wait, you say your move. Your move. Okay. Imagine going to a Draw. sneak peek for this set, and like you're doing like draft, that's what they did, did back in the day, mm -hmm. and like. People just get gravity binds, like there's no MST, there's no Dust Tornado. <laughs> it's just over with. Or is Dust Tornado in this set? It might be. It might be like a super, I don't know. <laughs> I'll activate Ground Collapse. the hell's that? So I select two main monster zones and neither player can use them. Oh, well wait just a minute then, Duelist. Let's activate Magic Drain. Ooh! So, this will negate your spell unless you're willing to discard a spell card. Oh, you're gonna discard, discard Nomen of Cross out. Now these two zones are locked. You really are wanting a non-game here, aren't you? What do you mean? We're both, we're having a time. We're both playing. I will pass. You think you've got something good going here, but I'll play a card that I bet you didn't foresee. Say hello to Burning Land. So when it's activated, if there are any field spells in the field, they're destroyed, but more importantly, during each player's standby phase, we'll take 500 damage. <laughs> So, that means... My stall strategy. Yeah, you can stall as much as you want, Duelist. But it matters not, for soon, one of us will lose this duel. That is true. Someone has to lose now. Now, you might be thinking, well, I have 6,500 life points and you have 7,200 life points, so surely you would beat me. But what if I flipped the four-star Ladybug of Doom? And that's not all. That's three cars that went to the graveyard. I'm gonna take 900. That means skull ah. invitations hitting you for 900. And that puts you at 63 <sighs> and me at 65. Woo! Let's end my turn and let the countdown begin. Draw! You'll take 500 damage. I'll activate Time Seal. Normal summon Bubonic Vermin. An attack can actually finally happen I'll have after my this Bubonic many turns. Bubonic Vermin attack your four star, the Ladybug. I'll set a card phase down, now I'm in my turn. I draw. It's my standby phase, so I'll take 500 damage now. Normal summon Hayabusa Knight. Hayabusa Knight's gonna attack your Bubonic Vermin. Enchanted Javelin. I'm gonna gain a thousand. Little bitch. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right, duelist. You do gain 1,000, but- And then I'll take 300. And now this battle still happens, which will make you take 100, 100 from the battle. And then 300 from the vermin. And then 300 from vermin going to the grave. So, you've managed to get your life points higher than mine, have ya? I have. We're gonna end our turn there. Normal, I mean, drop. <laughs> yeah. Normal summon. So third turn for Light Force Sword, and you'll take 500 if you yep, go into standby phase. Let's switch my invitation to defense position, and I'll end my turn. I'll draw. Standby phase, I'll take 500 damage. I'll set a card face down. 
And in my turn. Then I will draw. All right, you get your card back. Oh, yeah. And in the standby phase, you'll also be taking 500. I take five. Yeah, I take five. I'll set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll take 500 points of damage. I like that one kid in elementary school. You are the one kid in elementary school. <laughs> the kid in the phase. Kid. Bubonic vermin <laughs> discarded. <laughs> I take 300 damage. Your move, duelist. Oh, man. Draw. All right, standby phase. <laughs> I'll take 500. Oh, man. You, you're already discarding? That's such a shame. You know what I can do? Hmm. I can pass. Okay. <laughs> your turn. That's what you think for now. I, I'm telling you, duelist, I draw one card. Take 500. 500 in standby. <laughs> and I have to discard again. Flying Kamakiri. Uh, take another 300. Your move, duelist. Draw for turn. 500. I'll set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll take 500. I'll go to my end phase. Discard your move, duelist. As he hurdles to his own defeat. That's what you think. Draw for turn. You take five. Set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. 500 to me. End phase. 300 to me. <laughs> your move, duelist. Draw. Standby phase? Standby phase. 500. I bet you thought that this was a guaranteed win for you, didn't you, Duelist? I mean, I have you in a pretty bad spot. I thought I you mean, had me in a pickle. Like, I don't know what you're, what you're gonna do now. What if I activated a little card called Minor Goblin Official? I don't even know what that is, Paul. So, <laughs> I can activate this when your life points, my opponent, are 3,000 or less. Inflict 500 points of damage to you during each of your standby phases. Wait, what? So I'm using this in the standby phase, <clears throat> which means you'll be taking 500 more in your standby phase. Wait! Starting right now, actually. Ugh! 500 damage, duelist! How, how dare you? No, I dare. I dare, duelist, I dare. <sighs> it's truly a game of chicken. We're going to hell together! Set a car face down, I'll end my turn. I draw. Stand by, I take 500. And in phase, I'll discard and take three. Now then, your move. Draw. Stand by phase. 1,000 damage. That bastard. Can you deal damage to me, duelist? Oh, and does that look like seven cards in your hand, duelist? That would mean you'd have to discard a card and take 300. Even if you tribute summoned, you'll still take 300. And even though I'll take damage next turn, it won't matter because if you're at 1,000, then in the next standby phase, you'll lose this duel. Is there any escape? Any hope for retribution? I don't think so, duelist. I feel like Yugi when he like decked out the Pass. rings with Slifer. All right, it's end phase. You know what that means, duelist? Discard Skull Mariner, so Skull Invitation is gonna deal 300 damage to you. My turn. Draw. Standby phase, I'll take 500 damage. In phase, I have to discard a card. We're discarding my Morphing Jar number two, which will deal 300 damage to me. Putting me down all the way to 300. If you can get me to send a card to grave right now, you can win. I can't. Which means I end my turn. Draw. Do your draw phase. Say goodbye to 500 for Burning Land, 500 for Minor Goblin Official. Bitch, you lose. Can't believe you're running degenerate cards. I know, right? I was the only person playing degenerate cards. No, that I, I so I realized when I was just like looking at the set that it's like a degenerate set. There's just cards that are like slow burn and kind of just lock up zones, things can't attack. So I had a few cool cards in here that I actually wanted to sort of try to be able to use. Like I got two bubonic vermins. Did you, you I know you had one. I had two, you got two I had bubonic two vermins. vermins. I had two vermins. I like four star ladybug of doom. I also had a four star ladybug of doom. The deck did what it was supposed to, it just wasn't enough. I didn't. Yeah, I mean, you didn't, I didn't play who was gonna anticipate minor, minor goblin, goblin official. official. Your boy ran two seven completed. I did not read that it's only machines for some reason. I just, yeah. Cool. I, well, it was a good game. It's kind of it was sludgy, but you know. Yeah. So no, another game of Life Point Chicken. I mean, was the difference zero to three hundred? Yeah. This yeah. came down to one. It's funny because like I thought I had it won when I flipped Minor Goblin Official, but it's also like anything could happen. Like if any of my cards, if you got anything into my grave whatsoever. I was trying to figure out a way to do it. I had like No Man of Extermination, which would have banished something, and this would have went to my grave, so that wouldn't help. Like, yeah, that's the thing. It's like you can't even play things because you'll like take damage. But I then again, for one... what it's worth, 
you could afford to take anything because if you're going to take a thousand the next turn regardless then you might as well That's just true. activate your way down to like a hundred it was it was cool it was fun yeah good game good games. yeah these these old old school Yu Gi Oh is uh it's dirty playground rules like mm -hmm. I feel like they a lot like with the last set where if you guys watch the spell ruler duel definitely check it out it had like um, toll and uh, chain energy toll and chain energy life point chicken. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up our uh, set of the first four Yu-Gi-Oh sets. Just playing them individually, drafted. If you liked it, well, give us a like. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah, for sure. And check out all of our other videos. We've got loads of classic Yu-Gi-Oh, loads of other things from this. I might even make like a compilation video. Just do all four just of get them. Out, put them all together. We even have LOB with some special rules. Check it out if you're curious. We'll see you guys in the next one. Past, Past turn. turn.